right. Looks like you got a notification. Oh, yeah. Hey, what is up, guys? John from Magic Tech Review, and I have CV Tech here tonight with me. What is up? Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going, everybody? Oh, man, man. man what, a, what a day, man. No, nah, I only worked one day at Target, but... <laughs> That one day for like five days, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now I think I'm getting a little sick, man. I think eventually, so I got me some Dayquil and Nightquil just in case. So, yeah. So, oh, Chris Stevens, well, what's up, man? Oh, by the way, guys, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Of course, subscribe to me and subscribe to your boy CV Tech. His uh, channel link is actually right in the description below. So if you have not, go ahead and do that real quick. We'll wait here for you. But uh, what do you think about the LG Stylo 4, man? What do you, well, what do you first, think is going to happen? Well, first of all, I am less than 100 subscribers to 10,000. So I'm right wow. there. Can I, can I make it in four days, y'all? What do y'all think? But anyway, um, the Stylo 4... Um, when it comes to the Stylo 4, I believe that they that they need to put more RAM, more ROM, a different speaker. That rear speaker is just garbage, in my opinion, and they need to uh, have it full 1080p display. Oh, yeah, man. That's crazy, man. That The whole 720p thing has got to go, man. I mean, but honestly, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, the screen don't look bad for the 5.7-inch 720p, but LGs do pretty good on screens. However, they're not very bright. Uh, so it would be nice to see a full 1080 with a brighter display and some more ROM and RAM. Hmm. Actually, let's let's go ahead and go into some things that you would just like to see gone from the tech world or from you know from prepaid phones in general. So I know there's a few things that kind of grind my gears about prepaid phones. You go ahead, man. All right. I'll, I'll, I'm thinking. Okay, you're thinking. Eight gigabytes of memory. Four gigabytes of memory is should definitely like don't even. Don't even come at me like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Eight gigabytes, I think that's like that's like not even a, a thing anymore. We need at least 16 gigabytes to be the standard. A freaking flash on the camera or flash on the camera, dude. Like there's actually phones out here that is coming out with no flashes on the camera back camera. Like you know? Yeah. Me, it would be the eight gigabytes of ROM. The one gigabyte of RAM needs to go. And 480p displays need to go. Um, in my opinion, the only 480 display that looks halfway decent on the phone for a budget phone is LG. Uh, I've had some LG budget phones with 480p that looks almost 720. Um, but it's like ZTE, Alcatel, all of those, those 480s, they just look so washed out. And uh, so, yeah, and at, like you say, there's phones without a flash. And I mean, every phone should have a flash. You know, come on now. <laughs> and um you know glass without protection like there's no it's just like soda glass it just like shatters into pieces when you the least drop you know what i'm saying it's like a safety hazard man yeah i mean and i mean honestly you know some don't care some do i personally like a phone with a removable back and removable battery i mean it's not a deal breaker for me Honestly, I mean, if, if I want a phone bad enough and it's got a sealed-in battery, I don't care. I, most of my phones now have got, have got, have got sealed-in batteries, but um, it's just an added bonus whenever you can actually remove the battery and put a spare one in there just in case it goes bad without having to send it into the manufacturer and costing you and all that crap. So, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, guys, hey, we see everybody in the chat, man. I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge a couple of y'all uh, real quick. I'm just having a conversation basically with CV Tech. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm, I appreciate you guys coming in. Lucha Tech was the first. The individual said array. Lucha Tech's in here. Felix says hello. Uh, Storm Chasers is in here. Chris Stevenson. Cameron won an iPhone. <laughs> uh, 5C. He keeps talking about Ken Kennedy Jr. So, yeah, man, there's a lot of people in here, man. Thank you, everybody. Shay Kennedy, of course, every night. Thank you, sweetheart, for being in here for, uh, for me. But yeah, uh, okay, so I think, uh, hmm, what, what else can we talk? Oh, micro USB. They need to all switch to USB Type-C. What do you think? 
Uh, one second here. Chris Stevenson, man, why is every one of your comments being um, deleted by Nightbot? Every single comment he wrote. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he said Facebook. Ah, uh, don't say Facebook. It will, it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll cut you out every time. Yeah. Um, yeah, USB-C is good. Um, you know, I've noticed that after a while, micro USB, like, you know, wears out. Um, I got one. I have one that I use so much that it would not even stand the phone anymore. It just, it, I, I put it in, it fall out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like it kind of like locks in with USB-C. So I like USB-C a lot better. You know, I kind of yeah. wished, I kind of wish I still, I kind of wish in a way that's the way Apple would go, get away from the lightning ports and go with USB-C. Um, but, you know, who knows what Apple's going to do. I mean, I'll take lightning over you at micro USB any day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, and, 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 and remember the mini USBs, the one, you know, they were like the micro USB, but just bigger. Yeah, I didn't like them either. Eight gigabytes of ROM? I don't know, man. RAM? That's a lot, man. That's asking for a lot, bro. What do you guys I mean, think in the comments below? Go ahead and leave us. What do you think should be like the standard? Just like no budget phone should come without these things. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't go crazy now. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're going to have 32 gigs and 8 gigs of RAM. All the phones are going to be mad expensive. Uh, Cameron, um, my thoughts on the iPhone SC, which I have right here, is solid. Okay. I mean, you ain't going to have the best, best battery life experience with it. Best only got a 1624, 1640 million power battery. I use it on a daily basis on Total Wireless. My main daily driver on Total is the iPhone SC. And honestly, I use it every day. I love it. Would I buy other iPhones if I had the money or they was donated to me? Then, yeah, I'd take them. But honestly, I mean, for me and for what I use a phone for, the iPhone SC does does it all. It's very powerful. If you want if you want a, a 6S performance, go with, go with the SC. It's a lot cheaper. Hmm. Remove back speakers. Yes, back speakers should be gone, be done away with on all phones as well. Rear speakers are a joke. Most of them are. Yeah, true, true. I mean, I do use LG Tone, so that's not really a big deal to me. I never use my phone like the speaker wise. I always have a pair of LG Tones on me. Man, LG needs to just go ahead and sponsor me, man. I've literally worn LG Tones in every one of my videos. It's hard to see now because I actually have my hair down tonight, like a like a little emo kid, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, a little bit. I, I, I mean, yes, there are phones that's got eight gigabytes of RAM. They're like, you know, them real cheap brands that you get, you know, imported from, you know, international imported, you know, the name that you never really hear of. Uh, there's one right now I'm looking at. Um, it's, like, it's like 200 bucks and it's got like six or eight gigabytes of RAM. It looks like an S8 and it looks really nice. But I'm like, really? You know, I mean, a phone like that probably wouldn't be any more powerful than a. A major name brand with half of that, with half of them, half of them specs. So, you know, until you, but unless you try one, you just really don't ever know. All right. Well, I got something like dual cameras, man. I mean, they're all right, man, but I, they're not like really a feature that I need. You know, so I'd rather have something that's actually worth it than not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Don't take away something just to put a dual camera in there, just to throw another, you know, silly little camera in there. So I don't know what you guys think about that. Let me let us know. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about the dual camera? I literally never used this secondary camera. Like, I got two cameras right here. I never use that other camera. Like, for the bulking shots and all that other mess, I don't use it. The, o the, the only phone I have that I use the, the, the dual cameras is, of course, the V20. The V20 has the big wide-angle lens for one and one of the real close-up lens, and it actually is useful uh -huh. like that. Okay. But like the ZTEs, you get them different effects, blurred effects, stuff like that. So I could care less about that, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean, and I'd be, it would really be nice as well if they would put some kind of stabilization on, on phones, on cameras. You know, I mean, maybe not like optical image stabilization, but something to get make it a little more stable. Because uh, some some phones at nighttime, I don't care how good your camera is, unless you got it on a tripod, you're not going to get a good shot. True, true. I actually have I actually have two Octal Idol fives now. They sent me uh, another one because of an issue, so I actually got two of them now. This is just one. This is actually the case for the Octal Idol five with the fingerprint sensor on it, but it actually fits the same uh, 
I could tell Idol 5 Cricket. So if you guys are wondering that. Pretty good phone so far, though, guys. For sure. No doubt, no doubt. Hmm. Yeah, man. You need you need to go ahead and hit that 10,000 club, bro. You got so yeah. many people on your live stream. You got like 40 plus <laughs> on your live stream every night, dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't hit that anymore. I hit 70. I hit almost 70 the other night, and I was like, wow. I was like the most I ever had. People love you, man. But yeah, I, I'm only 90 away. I'm 90 away from hitting the big 10K, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that time getting here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. And super chats are wide open. Wink, wink, hint, hint. No. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, uh, go, ahead, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Ken, the, it says the Honor 7X still uses micro USB. That, that, I mean, that's so stupid. I mean, a phone to come out here at the very end of 2017, into 2018, and, H, and, 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 and the, and the Huawei decided to put micro USB on the Honor 7X. Yeah, it's only 200 bucks, so they're going to cut corners here and there on certain things, but come on now. Seriously? I've had very cheap budget ZTEs with micro with, with USB Type C. I mean, come on now. Yeah, my only issue with the ZT Blade Z Max is the 720p front camera. Like, I wish they would have made it to 1080p because, mm -hmm. like, when I upload videos and I'm doing like front, you know, shots or whatever, yeah, I can upload it in 1080p, but the front camera will only ever get to 720p. So. You know what I'm saying? I can up res it, but what's the point? You know what I'm saying? If the only the front camera is 720. So like when I do a, you know, when I do a video, you know, I point it at me, hey guys, what's up? Blah blah blah, I'll do the intro, and then I do the back camera work. You know what I'm saying? It's like no point in uploading it in 1080p if your front camera is only doing 720p. Now that is the Blade Z Max you're holding, right? Correct. Now, yeah, I never understood why an awesome phone like the Blade Z Max they put a 720p recorder in the front. I mean, I've seen some, I've seen some really cheap phones with 1080p in the front, and I'm like, and when I got the Blade Z Max, I was like, this is gonna be full 1080 front and rear and all that stuff, 1080p display, and they put 720p recorder in the front. I thought, come home. <laughs> yeah, like I have this Blade you know, X Max, and the Blade X Max does 1080p in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in the back. Yeah, I think that the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the ZTE Max XL has 1080p in the front. I'm thinking now. I have It, it does. does. So, I mean, there you go. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah, I might make a video about that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Blade Z Max is still a good phone either way. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like one of those things that just throws you off. Like, you know, 5 megapixel with a, you know, 720p front. Like, weird. Yeah, I mean... The Blade Z Max, in my opinion, is still one of it is if not the one of the best budget 2017 phones, along with the Moto E4 Plus. I mean, I'm, I'm using the Moto E4 Plus right now to live mm. stream, you know, on. And uh, this phone is just, I mean, I can stream for I can stream for probably 10, 12 hours before it would go, actually go dead, because uh, it drains about 20% every two, two and a half hours. So this thing right here would last 12 hours on a, on a live stream. All right, so let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about LG. And also, viewers, go ahead and give your comments on the LG G4. What do you guys want to see on the LG G4? You know what I'm saying? Or what, like what things or how the, the design, the shape, whatever. And CV Tech, let's go ahead and kind of get into that, the LG G4. What yeah, you don't, don't you mean the Stylo 4? Yeah, I'm sorry, Stylo 4. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you know, on the Stylo 4, I would love to see a 1480p display. Uh, I would like to see an extra gigabyte of RAM, double the ROM it's got now from 32, or well, some of us have got 16 gigabytes of, um, of ROM, so about 32 gigabytes and 3 gigabytes of RAM would be nice. Um, you know, better cameras, bring back laser focus on the on the cameras. Oh, uh, yeah, I like the, la yeah, I love the laser focus on the two, man. That was nice. Yeah. I mean, they put the laser stylo, but they left it off of the stylo two and three. So it'd be nice to bring that back, and you know, it would be nice to uh, have a bigger battery, like a thirty-five hundred milliamp hour, maybe a four thousand. Um, you know, that's what I like to see, basically, in the in the LG Stylo Four. I'd like to see maybe like a style redesign. You know, what I'm saying like, I don't know, man. It seems like the glass is breaking a lot on them things. Like that's all I ever see is people with that stylus pen with the screen broken. So I'd like to see like yeah. some stronger glass, maybe a redesign, so the glass is not as protruding or whatever. I don't know what it is, but it seems like it's always breaking. Like they don't have like really strong glass, 
or they don't have like the Gorilla Glass on there. I don't know why. LG phones, to, for me, a lot of people always have damaged LG screens. And also get rid of the rear speaker. Have bottom firing or front firing or something because, um, oh my goodness, I mean, them, them LG rear speakers are garbage. They just simply are. There's no other way to put it than garbage. So it would be nice to see a front facing or at least bottom firing. I mean, the LG, the original LG Volk, that was like a super, but it was really one of the best phones they made in that in that period of time. It had a, a really nice bottom firing speaker, and ever since then, it's like backfiring speakers, and they all sound horrible. So bottom firing or front firing would also be a major priority, in my opinion, for the, for the Stylo 4. Yeah, and that little flimsy pen, man, they got to do something. Like, if they're going to include a stylus, like, I, oh, it's Type-C, Type-C charging. Yeah, that's a good one because uh, the Stylo mm -hmm. 3 had regular micro USB. That stylus, too, man, it's, like, so thin. It's, like, so super thin, man. It's, like, even hard to hold. It's like you're holding a needle trying to write something. That you know? and it'd be nice to it'd be nice to have like like, like multiple colors. So you know, have like have, have like like the Titan that they always have, but have like have like a gold and have like a, a white version, have a, a black version. Have I mean it's all different kinds of different versions instead of just like with the same bland silverish, whatever you want to call it, brush looking color. Yeah, I mean that phone is really good, man. A lot of people really like the stylo, man, and it stands out. You know what I'm saying? Because of the mm. stylus pen. It just seems like they just kind of cut corners or they do weird things to always just kind of like you're almost there and then all of a sudden it's like why you know yeah and they're you know with with port ends or you know in stores they're reasonably priced i mean usually a hundred to a buck thirty i mean that's really not bad for the for, for what you're getting in the phone you know it would just be nice to see more more options you know and be yeah, a type c would be really good as well I, the only type c lg i have is the uh the v20 Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. LG, stop. L LG, man. It's like it's. They always do these weird things. It's the, the type, the micro USB. I'm kind of like just throwing my hands up. Like why, uh, no, why micro US, uh, my, uh, USB Type C? Then you know why the smallest battery, the 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 the, the freaking U the UI, man. They need to just like revamp. Oh, that thing. Uh, that's one of LG's worst traces. I hate their UI. To me, LG's UI is horrible. Every time I get an LG, as soon as I get it, I throw on a third-party launcher because I just cannot stand LG's UI. Uh, I don't know why. I just don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I like the features. I like the double tap to, you know, wake, and uh, I like the memo thing, but they just need to, like, I don't know. It's like every single one comes with all these features, but, you know what I'm saying, it kind of, like, weighs the phone down. It has It's so heavy. And it, it would also be nice if they would have the same specs for all Stylo Force. Not have this spec for this company and this spec for this company. Have all have the same specs. And I mean, I know it's, I know that the companies, mean the, the carriers and all like that, they put in what they, that, that, I, from what I heard, that you know, they put in what they want to put in their phone to make it more affordable or whatever. But um, it'd be nice to see the same specs on every one for every carrier. Just my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it kind of like it kind of defeats the purpose, and it kind of makes your phones look like crap when you put out the LG Stylo three, and then all of a sudden LG Stylo three plus. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like kind of crapping on everybody that just bought your Stylo three. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then everybody's waiting for that plus. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, like. I mean, it's like and, the LG. It's like, it's like the LG G Stylo on Boost Mobile. It had crap specs. I mean, I'm, I'm just being real. And then, then Metro brought out the their G Stylo that had that was ten times better than the original style than the G Stylo on Boost Mobile thought about being. And it's just like you know, you know, I don't know. Yeah, Cricket's had a really bad problem, man. It had eight gigabytes of internal storage, and that thing it was like six gigabytes was already taken up <laughs> by just That's the Boost Mobile. You just the UI, and then they put out like a an update to like clean it up a little bit, and it was still like. You download like three or four things and you're done. Like, there's no apps that can be downloaded on that, man. Yeah, I mean, the Boost My Boy, it, it, it run this, it run the quad core 410, had one gigabyte of RAM, a gigabyte of ROM. Um, but in my opinion, the G Stylo was my favorite Stylo of them all because, I mean, it had the laser focus. Um, it was a really solid build. It just needed, it just, it just, you know, if you don't Metro, it was fine. 
if you got it from Boost Mobile or Cricket, man, you, you you got you got you got yeah, it just wasn't good. It's a good experience. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see here. How about the ZT Blade? Well, not the ZT Blade Z Max. I know a lot of people are you know thinking about the LG and the ZTE Z Max Pro. It never got the you know nougat update. Obviously, we got the ZTE Blade Z Max. You know what I'm saying? But everybody was kind of looking forward to that. Z Max Pro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was never really a fan of the Z Max Pro. I know there's a lot of fans out there of the Z Max Pro, so don't kill me, guys. But uh, you know, I just I really didn't enjoy that phone too much. I actually like the ZT Grand X Max to uh, you know better because I, I I don't know design, body or whatever. It just felt different. Yeah, but. there was a time. There was a time I was, I was going to, actually going to, actually going to buy the uh, Bla uh, the uh, Z Max Pro, but I just really, I just never did it. And you know, uh, what kind of processor was in this? Was in that one? Do you was it six seventeen, six twenty five? It was a six seventeen, and then the ZT Grand X Max Two had the four thirty five. Yeah, I mean personally, I've had several phones with a six seventeen processor, and I'm just not a fan of the six seventeen processor. Right. That's why I think I like the ZT Grand X Max 2 because I had both phones. I had the Pro and the, Z, the Grand X Max 2, and the 435 just ran better to me, man. Yeah, it does. I, had, the, the, I mean, the 435 is a very solid octa core processor. Yeah. So that was kind of like, that was kind of weird, you know, and everybody was just hyping up the Pro, the Pro, the Pro. I mean, it, it, sure, it was a good, it was a good device and it was cheap price, but, you know, it's just like, I mean, it's all right you know it's not like it wasn't the most horrible phone you know but i, I never got that or or never got that new get update that everybody was like just dreaming about or whatever so sorry to all y'all that didn't get that yeah i mean you know i mean it, look, it did look good it was a nice looking phone um i just i mean i haven't heard any talks about you know a, a second version of the, of the of the pro but i mean you know you never know what's gonna happen in 2018 yeah, man. So, what other what other surprise devices you might think uh, coming out in two thousand eighteen, man, that you can just kind of dream up, or what what would be your dream phone for two thousand eighteen, basically? Dream phone, as in spec wise, what, or yeah, spec wise, what company? You know, what I'm saying maybe a company that hasn't come out with something in a while. I don't know, just would, something that I, you would be like if you saw it in, if you saw it in the news, you know, you'd be like, oh my god, I got to get this thing. Honestly, I would love to see Carasera make a really good phone. Cause back damn before small, you knew I was gonna say that, bro. You <laughs> damn it. That's what I had in my head. I swear to God, that's what I had in my head. Because before smartphones, Carasera's were like, I mean, they were tough. I mean, and they still are. I mean, I mean, their military grade smartphones now are really are really nice, but. You don't really see typical, you know, cell phones from Carasera, and I would love to see Carasera just knock it out of the park. Honestly, I would. They could do it. Yeah, yeah. If they if they made a six inch display phone with the waterproofing and the durability and everything like that, and just put kind of just decent ish specs, a good kind of camera, and a, you know a little bit of a good battery, USB Type C, man, they could knock it out the park, man. I just think the Carasera's had such a bad rap for the past several years. Even if they made a good phone, it would be so hard for them to get back up and get a good, get a good, and get a good reputation status. Yeah, they did kind of heat up a lot. You know what I'm saying? The older ones and the battery life was kind of bad. So yeah, that was the worst part about the flip phones back in the day was battery life was just horrible. You could use them. You could even use them a whole day of no usage. What was your favorite Carasera phone? Like just. Just your favorite one that actually mm. came to market. I got one in mind. I swear to God, if you say this phone, <laughs> I like the Carasera Hado Icon on Boost Mobile. Okay, okay, and the Icon and the Life, the Hydro Life is actually the same phone. Yeah. So we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did like the Carasera Hydro Life. I don't know why I like that phone. It didn't get updated or anything like that, but I did like it. I like the design and everything of it. I did have. A chance to hold the Icon X or the Icon, and I think that one had the uh, NFC chip on the back. The NFC payments. It did. It, did. it had NFC, okay. which was really shocking. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it had 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. It had it only had 8 gigabytes of ROM, and it ran the Snapdragon 410, I think, as well. 
and uh, that phone was just solid. It felt solid. It felt really good. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, it was only eight gigabytes back in the day, but that's all you needed back then. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, we, we can't we can't do. There's nah. like there's there's apps on the Play Store that are like I think two or three gigabytes. Oh yeah, no doubt. Uh, Ken says, "What are the data speeds for total wireless capped? No, they're no longer capped. It used to be five megabits per second. Now I can get up to ninety. I've got ninety before on total wireless. Holy crap, dude! Them Angry Birds, man, you're gonna be downloading them Angry Birds real fast. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't hit that speed much, but every once in a while, typically total wireless in my area between 20 and 20 and 30 is average i mean there, there's times you get them bursts of like 80 to 90 but that's i mean with total wireless you really don't you really can't use them that much because you don't, you don't get unlimited data yeah well let's let's make cv let's make cv tech feel good who is subscribed to cv tech's channel go ahead and type a 69 in the chat right now let's see who's subscribed if you're subscribed to cv tech go ahead type a 69 I'm thinking about switching over to Total from Cricket. I mean, Total Wireless is a very solid company, in my opinion. The only problem is there's just no unlimited data. Um, plus, it's CDMA. So, I mean, I'm liking Cricket a bit, a bit better now because I can use Cricket devices, ATT devices, and any unlocked device. Dude, look. Look at the chat. I hear you. Appreciate that, everybody. And if you're not, I don't know what the hell you're doing with your life, but you need to be subscribed to <laughs> Man, I appreciate that, everybody. That's what's up. I just wanted to see 69s. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, y'all. Oh, shit. It's funny. But um, data speeds on Cricket Cap, yes, they are cap at 8 megabytes per second. Unless you get the unlimited two plan, then it's three megabits per second. Have a device that works on both CDMA and GSM, yeah. Uh, that's how the um, my E4 Plus is. It, uh, it, it's Verizon. I, I unlocked it. Now it works on it works on Verizon, Sprint, Total Wireless, um, Cricket, AT and T, T Mobile, whatever I put whatever I put in it, it works. Long time sub for RJ, yeah, Chris. Appreciate that, man. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you know his name's RJ, then yeah, definitely. If you're a <laughs> fan. Um, let's see. So, okay, so we talked about ZTE. Um, yeah, Kia Sarah, I'd like to see them at the at CES. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we'll see something. Are you really interested in smartwatches, man, or do you not care? Because I'm uh, really not. I, honestly, I don't care a thing about smartwatches. Um, I bought one cheap. Fifteen dollar smartwatch from eBay. It worked like a dream. It really did. I mean, it worked like a dream. It worked like it's supposed to. Um, but I mean, I am just not a watch wearer. I mainly wear long sleeve shirts, so it gets covered up anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. We're we're. I mean, I see everybody running around with them, man. Like everybody. Like why? I mean, the Fitbits. You know, whatever. I got sent this Fitbit. I got like three different fit, three different fitness watch band thing. I, I barely. I, all I use it is for notifications. Like that's all I even use it for. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I. I mean, I'm just not really much on wearable. I mean, I mean, I see people. You know, just, just got to have their Apple Watch, and that's fine and dandy. You know, I mean, that's cool. But I'm just not one of them. I'm just. I never really been much of a wearable. I mean, I like. I like my Bluetooth stuff like that. But I mean, other than that, nah. Yeah, I mean, I can I can literally get notifications on my LG tones if I really wanted to, but sometimes you just don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just don't really want to be bothered, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to open up your phone and see a whole bunch of notifications, you know what I'm saying? Oh you yeah. Feel like you're, you want you want to feel like, you know oh what yeah. Man? Especially when you, whenever you whenever you wake up in the morning and you haven't checked your phone in like 12, 14 hours, and you got like. 15 20 emails and then you got all these notifications and comments and stuff like that it's like wow i love it you know then there's times you look at your phone and it's like there's nothing on there it's like wow okay I'll all right <laughs> all right send a message to yourself oh man it's, it's pretty cool I, I gotta tell you guys a story so my wife you know she used to be pretty jealous of girls and whatnot and all this other stuff and she always thought i don't know what the heck she always thought or whatever but 
you know, I, I used to be a little bit of a player, playboy, uh, when I was younger or whatnot. So I had this, I had downloaded this app, and it actually sends, uh, it sends text messages from like, you pick the girl's name or whatever, and you pick the picture, and then it'll just automatically send you text messages. <laughs> I it was like heard of that ad. I don't I know what the hell it was. It was like, yeah, there, there's a couple of them. I think it was like Stacy some shit. So like I started it, you know what I'm saying? And then like every time you replied to it, it would reply message right back to you. Oh, man. Oh, man. She was <laughs> flipping out. She was trying to call her and shit. And I'm like, no, man, it's an app. It's an app. Yo, she was like beating me up. I swear. She got smacked in the face. Mm. Hey, Michael Thomas with a $2 donation, man. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, out of all the providers you've had, what your top three currently? Well, definitely Cricket, definitely Total Wireless. That's what I have now, Cricket and Total Wireless. Um, I can't say, uh, and I would say Boost Mobile. I would say them three. Cricket, Total Wireless, Boost Mobile. I, I can't I can't say anything T-Mobile related because there's just no service here with T-Mobile. There's barely any with Boost, but there's more with Boost than there is T-Mobile. So, yeah, that, that would be my three carriers right there. Oh man, another another little funny app, guys. If you want to like scare your friends, it's uh it's called camera camera prank scare. <laughs> so what it is, it's like a little fake camera thing, right? And it opens up the camera and you hand it to your friend, and then when they hit the button to snap the picture, this like thing jumps out at you like ah like crazy <laughs> looking. Just have a case on your phone if you're gonna do it, but man, that yeah. is so fun, dude. <laughs> like, hey man, can you take a picture of me? I'm trying to get a good picture or whatever, and then <laughs> They had might that, drop your phone. Had that volume all the way up, where it's the max. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, Chris, Chris says I've only had two carriers in my life: Altel and Verizon. Man, I've had probably fifteen to seventeen carriers um, in VNOs and postpaids. I mean, I, I've had all four postpaids. Uh, I've had all their NVNOs pretty much, and some, and then Jesus, some. Dude. You're just but now a carrier I, whore, dude. Oh I tell God. you, man, it was awful back in the day, man. I, I had a new number every week. I couldn't stand having just. I mean, I was I was always changing. I had some off the wall carrier MVNOs that you never heard of before, and um, I would say probably the worst carrier I ever had was Suncom. Uh, I had Suncom for like a week and a half, and I said, "Man, this is Ooh, trash." I remember Suncom. I think didn't they have like something like if you were under like a free thing, you can make phone calls for free or something like that. I, I don't remember. Um, you know, I, I can't remember. All I remember was service was almost non-existent. It was terrible. Yeah, I remember Suncom. Suncom had something like if you were if you were in a certain coverage area or whatever it was considered. If you like, you had to pick like your home. Like you could pick your home zip code or something like that, and then you could pick a few more zip codes. And as long as you were in that area, you could make free phone calls all you know all day long or whatever. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. Well, Suncom wasn't in business very long. What, a year or two maybe? And then they got bought out by T-Mobile. My Blade Z Max is getting hot as hell. Uh, mine heats up a little bit, like if I'm doing live streams or something like that, or if I'm processing a video. Like if I'm making a video and I'm like processing it to go to YouTube, like doing the editing or whatnot, it heats up pretty bad. But other than that, I've never had it heat up bad. You ain't? seen a heated phone until you buy an LG and record in 4K and then edit it right after that. Believe me, you can bake bread on it. Oh, damn. Yeah, Singular Wireless. Yeah, I had Singular Wireless as well. It was, it was AT&T, then Singular, then back to AT&T. Like, make up your mind, you know? Mm-hmm. I had Nextel. It was the best. Nextel, yeah. I had Nextel too, man. I need to get a bunch of those phones. Uh, from back in the day or whatever, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start looking for them eventually when I get I have, a little bit bigger. I have I have the very first Nextel Boost phone was ever put out for Boost Mobile. Uh, I bought it off of eBay. It's still in the package, sealed up, never been taken out of the package, and uh, it's just a collector's item. It's no good anymore because I mean, if, of course, there's no more there's no more idea network. But um, yeah, I bought it just for like retro collection or whatever. But um. The problem with Nextel is, you know, when you got out of the city a little bit, you 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 would be you could be sitting right here, you'd have full service. I could move a foot this way, and it would it would chirp no service. 
it was just really weird. I mean, but yeah, Next Tale was awesome. I like Next Tale. I didn't like programming them things, man. You had to program a lot, like you know, pound pound this and that. Yeah. That was aggravating. Yeah, being a sales rep for phones like a couple years ago, man, was kind of annoying. Until they finally got the whole, uh, what the, the automatic or auto uh, activation thing. Yeah. I remember for Boost, man, I had I literally, like, I had to walk outside my Boost mobile store that I was working at, and I had to wave the phone around like, like a crazy man just to get the phone to activate. Yeah, uh, William, uh, Nextel uh, was eventually owned by Sprint, but Nextel was their own carrier there for a while. And then Sprint bought out Nextel, and then it was still the you know, Sprint Nextel when they had their idea network still. And then Sprint, then Sprint decided to just shut down the idea network and Nextel altogether. And then they had the, the walkie talkie feature on the Sanyo phone, stuff like that for Sprint. And then they finally just done away with it all. Yeah, I want to see some more stuff from Sanio. I want to see some more stuff from Sharp. Man, I want I want them to just pull out all the stops, man. 2018, man. We need to see like just a whole bunch of phones, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I, it'd, be, it'd be nice, like I said, if Sharp made some more. I wish that the Aquos Aquos two or S two, whatever it's called, would come to the states. That'd be awesome as well. Um, yeah, I would love to see. Uh, like I said, Sanio was the best phone for Sprint back in the day. I mean, if you had a Sanyo phone, I mean, it's funny. You, 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 you could buy an LG or a Samsung on Sprint back in, like, the flip phone days, uh, like mid-2000s, and they would have service, very, very low service. You could buy a Sanyo phone, and you would instantly jump two to three bars of service. It's like they had super strong antennas in their phones, which was amazing. Yeah, man, that Juno boy, blue and pink. That Juno, Juno phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Never had that phone, but yeah, I remember. I remember seeing it. That Motorola made one. I remember it was like the Motorola something. It looked just like the Juno. Yeah. But it was uh, it was like more stylish or whatever. Mm hmm. Uh, my favorite one of my the two the two favorite Sanyo phones for Sprint that I had was um was the Sanyo eighty four hundred, the best flip phone ever made in my opinion, and the Sanyo M one. Oh, I think you're the, gonna say the incognito. Yeah, the Sanyo M1 for flip phones. The incognito was was oh. sweet too. That Metro. vibration, man, you can. Boy. Yeah, and the speakers, man, the speakers were deafening. I mean, if he was if he was sitting in a in a quiet room, that thing was to go off. Shoot. But yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know. Which which uh, Xiaomi phones bring into the states? Says Pancho. I think I, I wish that a lot of phones would just come here and actually be sold on prepaid carriers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like prepaid carriers will take a chance on these certain phones. So not that they just come to the States, but like actually like you can walk into a cricket boost or Metro and actually pick up one of these different types of phones or even, you know, one of the postpaid carriers. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. Like it's crazy that the Google Pixel can only be gotten on Verizon. Like why? I don't know. That's just and then the droids, you know, Motorola Droid. That's that's a whole other thing. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I had a Moto, I had a Moto. Um, God, what was it called? Now I bought it off of Walmart.com when I have, when I had Verizon prepaid a while back. It was the Moto, the Moto Droid Luge, something like that. That was a nice little phone, and um, of course it's. it's like three or four years, three, like three or four years old now, but I like that phone when it when it, when it came out. The Honor so Seven X on Cricket. Be the biggest innovation in 2018. Hang on, so say the Honor Seven X on Cricket would be rad. I'm planning on getting the Honor Seven X here soon, Tommy. Um, so yeah, and I'll be using it on Cricket as well when I do get it. But um, what were you saying? What was your question? What do you think is going to be the biggest innovation in 2018? Like the biggest just differentiating factor. I, I I I hope it's not that stupid fingerprint under the screen. Like I hope mm -hmm. that's not the biggest thing that's coming. But what do you yeah. think, man? It's gonna be the biggest thing. You know, I think that the bezelless displays are kinda good because I mean you can get like, you know, a six inch device, a six inch screen, and the phone is smaller than like a phone with a five point five inch display. Um so that's that's more hand friendly, but you're still getting the same real estate. But yeah, that whole under the screen fingerprint thing and 
if they done away with it altogether and went with like the whole like what iPhone did with the whole face recognition mess, I would get I wouldn't like that too good at all. Yeah, I mean, I would like to see the foldable thing kind of take off. If you know, I would I would kind of like to see that. Um, I'd like them I'd like them for some way to integrate some type of controller for gaming. Yeah. On the phone. I don't know how they would do it, you know what I'm saying? But some type of control or some type of way that, you know, something can come out of the screen a little bit, you know, like a little controller can just kind of, you know, pop out of the screen somehow. I don't even know how you would do that, but something to get physical buttons on these games, man, because these these uh games are really, really hard to control with the on screen keys and oh, they're yeah. just not as oh, responsive, yeah. man. By 2020, who knows what we're going to have. I mean, we're probably going to have phones that's going to be able, I mean, I don't know. I could make a lot of stuff up to make it sound cool, but, I mean, I could, but you can about imagine what's going to be like in, like, you know, two, like, a couple of years from now. Uh, Cameron says, not a, not a phone related, but my PS4 disc drive is making banging and grinding sounds. That don't sound good. <laughs> um, honestly, that, I mean, it could be your laser going out, um, in your PS4, because I know I had, um, I think it was a PS2, and it made a lot of banging noises, and the laser finally went out. So it could be your, it could be a laser problem. I really don't know. That sounds like, but that does sound like a, like a laser problem in the PlayStation. Motor mod and controller. And that's bad. That ain't good. Yeah, motor motor mod controller is pretty nice. Yeah, but it's a hundred dollars. I mean, I think that's pretty pricey for that for a controller. You know what I'm saying? Something I, I don't know. Do you guys know about the LG Treasure? I've heard the LG Treasure, but I know nothing about it. Yeah, they just need to make it more like universal somehow. Somehow to make it so you can control these games, you know what I'm saying, without having like this big old beastie controller with this like, you know, thing that's like, you know, makes your phone like feel weird and all that, man. I don't know. I don't know what they can do, but they got to do something. I think I'm going to sit down one day and just think of all of the new stuff they could actually add to phones in the next couple of years. It would just be crazy because, I mean, there's a lot of thought. I've, I've thought about it before, and, of course, right now I've, I can't remember any of it, but, I mean, there is – there's a lot of – I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they could do to a phone that would make it really gawky and charge several thousand dollars for one phone. Um, in, my, in my opinion, I believe, I believe the biggest waste is going to be 5G. That's, that's my opinion. I don't see the point of 5G. And the reason why I say 5G is you know, because it's called unlimited plans now most likely knock you down to 480p streaming anyway. And if you have these MVNOs that, that where they cap you on speeds, you can't, even, you can't even use it anyway, and they're going to charge your arm and a leg for it. Yep. How about this? Um, what is it called? What phone company I want to see, or what company I want to see, a Nintendo phone. Thumbs up, man. That would be what's no. up, and that would be no. that, that would be the deal, man. That would be what's up. <laughs> made by made by ZTE. <clears throat> yeah, there you go, there you go. Made oh. by ZTE. Yeah, little John is banging on the walls for some reason. So let me check on him real quick. And so if you want to, right, and no I'll hustles. Your... If you're still in here, bro, I'm gonna. Go ahead and invite you. I don't know if Mill Hustles is still in the chat. He said he was sleepy, so I'm going to just go I'll ahead answer. and send him an invite, though. All right. I'll answer a few questions then. Uh, you have 1080p streaming on Verizon? Yeah, it, I mean, it says that, but I doubt you're getting actual full. Because, full, I mean, Cricket says on mine 480p, but it says 720, but I, I don't know how that works. I mean, I guess if you're paying for it, I guess you are going to get you know, 1080p if you're paying extra for it. Um, prices will go up with 5G. Oh yeah, prices is gonna prices is gonna skyrocket with 5G. You can you can about bet your bottom dollar on that. Limited edition Pokemon phone. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the best? What's what best? This I'm not sure. Uh, it was it, uh, my Christmas was pretty good. Shake Kennedy, how was yours? Hope you had a good one as well. A stink compatible phone would be the sickest. Yeah, that would be cool as well. Uh, think reality will never be one, but it would be funny if they had a Nintendo phone by five of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have not. I have. I have not tried Page Plus Sailor, and probably never will. Honestly. 
Page plus, bro, Page Plus used to be banging back in the day, man. I used to I used to switch everybody over from uh Sprint or Verizon and put them on Page Plus, man. Yeah, Page Plus right now, you they're they they can not be at five megabits per second. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. So once it looks like once they got switched over, um, then damn, that really killed it. Well, see, that's how straight talking Total Wireless was too. They was five megabits per second for a long time, and all of a sudden, boom, they just took off the cap. And I guess Verizon done it, and now you get max speeds, which is really awesome, and going to help them out in the long run. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, Nintendo phone would be dope. Uh, what else? What else is I gonna say, man? Man, so, so many things I want to say, but then you just get up here and you're like, man, I forget. Yeah, about I know. Oh, I mean, that's like when I I, I, get, I get in front of the camera, I got like a million things in my mind I want to say, and then when I get when the camera turns on, it's like, poof, nothing. Yeah. But that Google Pixel two, I mean, the Google Pixel, yeah, Google Pixel two, and the XL at uh, Target, man, they're really. It's a really sweet deal right now, honestly, man. It's uh, $250 gift card plus $300 off the actual phone. So you're saving $550 off of that. So that's so I think it ends up being $100 something dollars you're actually going to pay for wow. that phone. Yeah. What is my only gripe about straight talk? My only gripe about straight talk is whenever you do an ESN change online, they always, the majority of the time, change your due date. Um, I had service for like three days with Straight Talk. I done an ESN change, and if I had not have checked my account that day, my, my they had screwed up my account. To the when I done the ESN change, the the, the the service would have been canceled the next day. And when I called in, they told me that it was a glitch in the system. And every time I done an ESN change, it always changed my due dates. Total Wireless don't do that. Total Wireless, I, I've changed. 50 times phones since I've had them and it's never messed up one time. So that's my biggest gripe with straight talk. Man, I can't do a track phone wireless type thing, man. It's like every time you call customer service, dude, they all sound the same. I swear they all sound. You always get that lady that's like from India or something, but you, she's trying to hide her accent so bad. And she's just like, yes, you know, thank you. Uh, you know, very much, uh, you know, oh, Mr. Smith, can I call you Mr. Smith? And then she just like, yeah, we very much apologize for that, Mr. Smith. Da -da -da. I'm like, man, just fix my freaking problem, man. Stop with the Mr. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? And apologize. Like, they apologize literally every mm -hmm. two seconds to you, bro. And it makes the call go so much longer. Exactly. And then it's like, oh, well, I can't help you in this department, but I will glad you transfer over, you know, whatever. And then when you should get you transferred over there, oh, you know, oh, Mr. Smith, can I address you, Mr. Like, no, man, no, stop with the freaking greeting, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, now in the last couple of phone calls that I've made to Total Wireless, it's actually been a pretty decent experience. Um, now, one, I did hang up on one because they just, I, they just really, they just got on my nerves. But I mean, most of the time, it's pretty. It's, 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 it, it wasn't too bad, but I mean, I have had, I have, you know, there's a lot. I've had, I have had a lot better uh, customer service providers before. Uh, removing the headphone jack. I mean, something is some. Some is. I mean, it's some like. It's an important thing, but honestly, me, I could really care less about a headphone jack. I mean, if it has it, it has it. If it don't, it don't. To me, it's not a deal breaker. How about you? I use LG tones, dude. I never, I literally never use my headphone. I think I've used my <laughs> headphone jack once. I always I mean, have like, headphones on. I mean, like this right here. I mean, I'm using my Xbox headset with corded hooked, hooked into the phone, so that's good to have a headphone jack for that. But other than that, I never. I, I mean, I got some new LG tones as well that I even hadn't even opened yet. So um, once I get them out of the box, yeah, there you go. What are your thoughts on the Note 8 no longer working and unable to charge after the battery completely drains? Typical, typical flagship problems. I mean, that's just my, that's just my thought on it, really. Yeah, I mean, and if your headphone jack ever goes out, man, it's just like, boom, you're done, dude. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, there's ways to kind of revive it, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen people, you know, oh, my God, man, just dealing with customers' phones, dude, they are so nasty sometimes. I can't believe how nasty some people can be. Like, and I know somebody, somebody watching right here is going to be like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? But they got like these otter boxes or these cases, dude. And like, literally when you take off the case, it's got like soda 
you know, it's got like nail clippings in there and it's got hair. Like how, bro? Like how do you get all this stuff into your phone? Like it's, like, it's so disgusting. And it's, it's like, like I look at them, I look at them and I'm like, yo, are you are you fucking are are you seeing this right now? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, it's a little dirty. <laughs> and I'm like, they're laughing about it. I'm like, no, it's just nothing to laugh about. You literally put this shit to your face every day. And this is what that's, you have inside your phone. Like, that, yo, that's, you, you need to clean your phone. Like, baby wipe that shit or uh, Windex it some, before you before you go get your phone fixed or talk about it be having problems on your phone. Yeah, that that's uh, that, that's when I would that's whenever I'd pull, pull the gloves out and put the gloves on in front of them and say, I think I might need some gloves for this. <laughs> I've literally seen toenail clippings, bro, inside of a inside oh, of a case. Like, now, I don't even how do you even I, get toenail clippings inside a battery case? Like inside the fuck like inside the case, dude. Now I mean my iPhone SC here with this auto box here on it. Now there when I, when I pull this hair off, you might see some like dust and dust in there. It kind of builds up, but I mean, yeah, people are just, uh, uh, yeah, that, that I would definitely literally pull out my gloves and say, I might need my gloves for this and uh, and just go from there. Like I can literally, I, I can literally like, smell it and tell, I can just smell it and tell what's going on with the phone. Like, okay, you had soda, you had a turkey dinner with some gravy in there. You clipped your toenails, you know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> you, you cut the grass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you, <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and then they had, like, the screen is like half broken and you know metal is exposed and outside the screen and everything and they're like i don't know why my phone's not working like huh you know maybe half the screen's <laughs> missing that might be your issue <laughs> I, I, I mean i mean that's just i mean honestly it makes you it, i mean honestly i'm kind of i'm kind of i'm kind of a germaphobe in a way and so if, if i seen that i would be so I would be I would be cringing, man. I, I would I would literally I would literally pull out my gloves and say I might need my gloves for this because this phone looks disgusting. Bro, I, I remember like I, some lady right. She handed me a phone. She didn't tell me the phone was broken or anything like that. Her whole screen was just smashed, right? And she had like pieces of glass coming out of that stuff and everything, you know. So I touched and I cut myself. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it, you know what I'm saying? And like I went like this. Oh. And I went like this and like I rubbed my eye by accident. You know what I'm oh. saying? So, and she was like, "Oh yeah, by the way, you know, I dropped the phone in the toilet right before I got here, uh, but I don't know why my phone's not working." So I literally oh had god. poop glass in my eye, bro. Oh my god! I I would have been like, I had poop. I had yeah, I had poop glass shards oh. in my eye, bro. And I was like looking at her like, "You didn't want to tell me like your phone was cracked or your phone like something was wrong with your phone before you handed it to me, like." I mean, it wasn't just like, and it wasn't just like you know had like a little crack. No, that shit was like shattered, bro. The whole screen was like smashed. Mm. <laughs> I would have been. I tell you, I would still be paranoid. Yeah, th th there was a th th uh, Michael Thomas says. Uh, I bet you can tell a bunch of stories about people's phones. MTR. <laughs> yeah, I can. But that's just a few stories that are coming to my mind. The poop glass one, man. I, I just, I still can't get over. Mm. It. It's, I tell you, yeah, I mean, you, you cut, I mean, it, it's one thing to cut yourself, because, I mean, there you are cutting yourself on the glass, but then, but then, like I said, rubbing your eye after, and then, then being told, this is what dropped, in, this was dropped in the toilet a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if my, if my phone fell in the toilet, I just flushed it and go along with it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it ain't no good anymore, really. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, man. <laughs> Y'all yeah, think this? <laughs> opening up a phone, guys. Opening up a phone in a retail store, man. I'm telling you, man. It's like it's like a treasure trove. You don't know what you're gonna find in there, man. You're gonna. That's why I refuse to buy a pre-owned phone from like from from from, from anywhere because you don't never know where that phone has been. So that's why I will not buy a pre-owned phone, especially like off of Amazon, eBay, nothing like that. Ain't ain't gonna happen and the ones that have the removable backs forget it man it's got you know you got oh, so much gosh, stuff. yeah yeah and then you know oh i don't know like how, i don't even know how you get stuff inside of uh, the back that's removable but yeah. but anyways. uh so do y'all do y'all think we will see the exxon 8 in 2018 boy i sure hope so i mean the i mean the, the, the idols the, the exxon 7 was a super phone and it'd be nice to see an Exxon 8. Unfortunately, they made the Exxon M, which, in my opinion, was just 
a poop ah. plant. Like mm -hmm. Exactly. So I mean, it would it would be really nice to see an Axon Eight, and I mean, because they really, I mean, from what I heard, the the Axon Seven was was sweet. Dude, look at these dislikes on this video, bro. Have you, I just uh, noticed it? I haven't looked yet. Let me see. Guys, go ahead and leave a like on the video, man. Help, help. Are you boy kidding, out, man. man, dude? What is what? We got some haters, man. I, I bet you, I, I bet you, it's everybody who commented on my V twenty versus v, a V eight Pro video. <laughs> oh shit, man! You're bringing in the haters, dude. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yeah, I just know, like I just noticed because I was like trying to see or whatever. I literally have 23 dislikes on this video and 19 likes. I mean, I'm sorry, 23 likes and 19 dislikes. Like, that is... how the heck? Man, somebody's been putting in some work, dude. Man, I mean, <laughs> like, I can't believe that... that. <laughs> I'm just I sitting here like, just... do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's kind of how I felt the other day when I released that video and I had like 15 dislikes and five likes, and I was like, seriously, y'all, come on. I honestly regret buying the Idle 4. Why, Robbie? What's wrong with your Idle 4? Um, the only thing that I see a problem with my Idle 4 is the 617 processor is not the greatest, and there is times it does have some lag and stutter, especially when you first reboot the phone. Uh, it does kind of mess up a little bit, but after a little bit, it seems seems to clear out. And a lot of times, if you got a phone for a long time, I mean, you, you say that you get buying it, but if you got a phone for a long time, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to do it. But it's not. Sometimes it's really good to give it a hard reset, factory reset everything, and just go back to, go back to like factory, and then that'll clear out a lot of problems. But um, you, all you um, so yeah, what what kind of what kind of what kind of problem are you having with the uh, Idle Four there, Robbie Gaming? Probably overheating. Gaming, come on now. Gaming, yeah. Now my Idol Four don't overheat that much, but I don't game on my phones really. So there you go. If I, even live streaming, the battery don't the, the battery don't get hot on the Idol Four. Um, but I, but yeah, gaming I'm sure you know is a nightmare. Speaking of gaming, man, there was this one time I, I was uh you know I was helping out a customer. You know, it was a wife and a, you know and a husband or whatever, and you know the guy was real real kind of thuggish you know what i'm saying he was like i don't know like a street street gang kind kind of guy looking type guy you know what i'm saying rough around the edges and everything and so i asked his wife like hey you know what kind of apps do you play on your phone you know i'm interested to know or whatever you know just so i can tell other customers and stuff you know she's like oh i pay like candy crush and you know i play whatever angry birds whatever the heck it case may be you know and then I turned to the dude and i was like hey man what kind of what kind of games or something like that man do you play on your phone he's like i'll play freaking games I play mind games. I was like, whoa, bro, whoa, chill out, man. Just a question, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, dude, this dude like came like he was about to come around the corner, like come come over the counter, bro. Like, because I said, what kind of games, man. I'm like, all right, bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care if you play a little Barbie Playhouse on your phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come. Yeah, I don't play freaking games, man. I play freaking mind games on these streets, bro. And I'm like, oh, okay, man. Okay. okay, just chill out a little bit. Tone it down a few notches. <laughs> you know, like, all right, man. All right, you got it, man. You got it, bro. <laughs> it says, it says, remember your live stream? I told you the pins and my Idle 4 broke like the charger. Oh, yeah. My bad. Yeah, I remember, I remember you saying that now about the charger pins. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sucks, man. Well, well, that that should if he had it, if he ain't had it a year, it should be covered under manufacturer warranty. It's probably that one subscriber who has about 12, 15 accounts is giving thumbs down. Probably. Probably. That's crazy. I mean, he's giving a view each time he does it, but still. Like, dang. Hey. If... What's up, Forbes, Forbes Tech Review? It's probably Forbes Tech Review, man. He's a secret hater. <clears throat> Not his plan. What's up, Forbes but Tech yeah, Review? Yeah, I mean... So I don't I don't know I mean yeah, we had a question up here said when is the Stylo Four coming out for Metro? We don't know yet. We're just um, the title says LG Stylo Four. We're just telling what we would like to see in the LG Stylo Four when it does drop. And I wonder if they will keep the Stylo name or change it. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. 
Malik Obama <laughs> will drop a like one sec. All right. I'm playing American Truck Simulator on my laptop. Oh, my God. <laughs> I only had it for a year or so. Oh, okay. Okay. Better software, LG, come on. Yes. Yeah, we, the, 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 UI, the UI of the LG need to be revamped completely, overhauled, redone. Yeah. Their cameras are pretty spot on, though, bro. Oh, yeah. Their, their cameras are solid. Their cameras are solid. I mean, that V20, boy, I'm tired. That V20's camera, man, shoot, I've not seen a camera that good on any phone. But, of course, I mean, it's, it's, you know, there is the better, like, you know, the new iPhones, new Samsungs, and all like that. But for phones I've owned in my lifetime, then the V20's got it. Mm. So what kind of what kind of new content, man, on the channel is coming along, man? You know what I'm saying? Can we get a sneak peek, man? Uh, man, I, I, I was going to start doing gaming, but I've just been too lazy to do it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to you know, be around the bush on that. Um, honestly, right now, I don't really have nothing new. Um, nothing that is set in stone yet, man. Other than just the typical reviews, live streams, unboxing, and stuff like that. How about yourself? um i don't know man i got i think i got like i'm gonna have a, like a series of different different tutorials but like really really different you know what i'm saying just things that you wouldn't really think of but you really wonder about every time you know what i'm saying i like, like doing how i like doing how to videos as well you know on certain things yeah i'm just but i'm just try, i'm trying to get out there like just really really think about what people are actually searching on google you know what i'm saying like oh yeah definitely so, so what I do at work is when people ask me questions, I, that's I literally that's what they, like they, it starts rolling in my head. Like I, and I hear these questions like over and over and over again. So that's when I you know think of a video to make. You know what I'm saying? Like my most popular video is how to how to uh, uh, fix your microphone. You know what I'm saying? People can hear me, but I can't hear them. Or they know I can hear people, but people can't hear me. And it's just like a little, you know, it's just like. You know how to blow out your microphone port, stick a little pin in there to make it work or whatever. So just things like that, man. I'm th I'm trying to think outside the box and just like you know things that people really really might want to know. Yeah, because I mean, you know, being you know kind of so, so being kind of small right now compared to a lot of these you know hundred thousand million subscriber you know reviewers and all like that. You can only really kind of only go so far in mobile technology whenever you don't have the budget really to buy phones all the time and you don't have every manufacturer sending you phones. So it's kind of good, like you said, to think out, think out of the box, try something new, try gaming, try this, try that, tutorials, how-to videos, and just kind of go from there, you know. MTR hater, what's up, MTR hater? There you go. Um, Robbie gaming, yeah, man. That the, the man, it's it's, it's going to be difference between night and day, the sun and the moon, and battery life from the Idol Four to the Blade Z Max. There is just no comparison. <laughs> Hmm. App reviews. What you guys use daily on your devices would be cool. Like what's on my device videos. Yeah, that that's kind of cool, but they don't get a lot of views, man. Yeah, some, yeah. There's so many of them out there, and it's like you got these people with like ten subscribers talking about what's on my phone, and you know, update video and Q and A and all this other stuff. <laughs> Like, bro, yeah. nobody really cares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, when it comes to what's on my phone, I had the same thing on every single phone, and it never really changes. So I'd make one video about it, and it, and it would never change because every phone I get, the, the icons are in the same place, the same apps are downloaded, the same everything's downloaded, and I don't change up a whole lot. You know what? I'm so, going to do that. I'm going to do I'm gonna do you, 10 apps you need to put on your phone first. I think that's what I'm going to do. There you go. There you go. What's up? There you so go. I'll do that. Everybody needs good editing software. I mean, everybody needs good editing software for videos. Everybody needs, you know, of course, the Creator Studio if you're a YouTuber and all like that. All that kind of stuff. Um, MTR, how do you? How can I get phones for a review like you, man? Uh, do YouTube for about two and a half years and get thirteen thousand subscribers, man, and make a video every single day. I literally make a video every single day. I have not stopped like since I started in three years ago. I started. I started in 2011, and my and I really didn't start all. I really didn't start a lot until like maybe mid 2013 and early 2014, and it's a struggle for me even get 10,000. I mean, I'm like less than a hundred away now, and uh, I have emailed a few manufacturers um, about phones, but still waiting to hear back. So yeah, we'll see what happens. 
Let me see here. I have, I'm going to tell you guys how many videos I have, I think. I don't know if it'll show me here or not. Yeah, it's I have like, huh? I have like 750, I want to say, something like that. I believe I have 1,700, bro, if I'm not Whoa. mistaken. Wow. <laughs> that's what's up, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little. I know it's a little ridiculous. Matter of fact, I'm about to go. To, I'm about to go to my creative studio, and I'm just gonna, about to take a peek right now for y'all. And yeah, so that's how you do it, man. Hey, every video is not going to be a masterpiece, but there's one coming right behind it. Oh so. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, and you know, like we've always said, you know, there's sometimes you can work hard on the video, trying to get the editing down right, this down right, that down pat. And it gets no views, Harley. But you can make a video on nothing. It takes you five less than five minutes to make, and it blows up. And it gets more views than any video that you've ever done. I mean, I mean, I got a video right now. It's got like a hundred and fifty thousand views, and I just, I just threw it up. And you know, I was like, this thing, this, this won't go nowhere. Dang if it didn't. Yeah, I got okay. I actually have a thousand seven hundred and forty videos, dude. Wow, I got like 750. <laughs> I'm a long way behind. <laughs> yeah, that's how I get all them. That's how I get all them views, I guess. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah. Don't you get plaques from YouTube if you get a certain milestone? Hundred thousand is your first plaque. Yeah, which they should kind of drop that, bro. I think they should drop that to 10 10k now, or at least 50, or I don't know. Well, that's they are to have. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I have one for like 10k, 100k. One million, ten million, and it already be like you know different, like different colors or whatever. I mean, what what color is the first one? What is it, silver? Yeah. Or they ought to have like a, like something you know, less than silver for like ten thousand, and then ten thousand to a hundred thousand to a million, ten million, whatever, and go up from there. That would be nice. Yeah. True. If, if you, you would, would up, up your quality in your videos, yeah, uh, that's what they say, man. But it's not always true. Yeah, I mean, th that is true. I mean, honestly, I would rather see a good review and th th then, so then somebody who sits there and makes up all this fancy stuff. I mean, it's nice and all like that, but honestly, I don't see the importance of having, like, the greatest quality in the world. As long as you're getting the video out there, telling the truth about it, and telling everything about it, and helping people, I don't really care about seeing no fancy quality work done to a video. Stay humble, RJ. Hey, appreciate that Elvis lives here now. I'm, I want to try to, man. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh, not me, man. Once I hit 50K, bro, I'm done, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it would help us. Yeah, oh, yeah, it would help. Yeah, it would definitely help. But, I mean, you know, honestly, me being on a budget, this being the only thing that I do right now, personally, I do all of my stuff from a cell phone. Every video you see of mine is done from a cell phone, and it's going to stay that way probably. Um, unless I just make it really, really, really big and can afford these really nice cameras. And, and also, I don't have the studio room either that I need. I, need, I mean, if I had a better studio room with better lights, better this, better that, it might be a different ball game. But, you know, I got a very, very, very tiny place to do everything in. But, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. See, how did you meet me? I, I pester everybody that I talk to, man. I literally pester people until they start liking me. So. <laughs> Like even a low high Android man, you know what I'm saying? I, I start talking to him or whatever. He don't talk to me no more. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with him. But uh, I've had several people on this on this live stream. I've had um, Varieties Tech. I've had JG Tech blog up here. Uh, uh, CV Tech, of course. I've had uh, you know Tech Right. Paul Tech's been up here. I just I literally pester people until I they, I get them up here. So if I want <laughs> if I want them up here, goddamn it, they're getting up here eventually. What if you sold all your phones and bought a good camera? Ah, uh, nah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> One problem I had with the Idle 4 is getting really slow with not even that many apps open. It would heat up a ton when editing. Oh, okay. Hello, John, man. What you drunk, man? You drunk on the half Jason, and half? Jason Branch, says, I follow, Jason Branch says, I follow y'all and Jay Williams. Oh, okay, okay. I've tried to reach out to Jay Williams, man. I don't know. He's just saying. Yeah, I've tried talking to Jay Williams myself, and he just don't reply back to anything. It is what it is. Oh, so if you guys would like to see anybody up here or collaborating with me or CV Tech, uh, go on their channels, man. Let them know. Hey, you might want to talk to these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? They they might uh 
bring something new to your channel or you know question here says can you make a video on how to remove useless bloatware on phones not unless you probably root it i mean that's gonna be probably the only way that you can get rid of bloatware is by root and i don't do root videos i couldn't i couldn't root a video a root a phone if i had to <clears throat> let me see here i want to start a tech channel but how do you afford all these phones at the beginning uh you don't you just you just you do don't your, yeah you just <laughs> do the ones you have you do the ones you have what your family members friends whatever then you might go to the stores and you know just look at the demos or stuff like that and then you go online and you talk about phones that are online and then you just you know use a screen recorder or you know use screenshots and whatnot so. it, it, it takes a while sometimes i mean you got some, i mean I, I mean i've borrowed phones from people to review and look at and i mean all kinds of stuff like that i mean i mean it just it, it takes a while sometimes unless you got unless you got big money from the get go to start up and buy all kinds of like I mean I see people who start up YouTube six months ago but they already got tons of subscribers because they got the money to buy all these flagship phones so it, it all it all comes down to you know to all that as well. Yeah, little John's taking over, man. <laughs> little John, right on push it to <laughs> Thoughts on the one plus five T? I love it. I want the Star Wars five T. I got it. I want it bad. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, they need to just come to the states, man. They need to stop with the whole uh, online ordering thing and all that. Yep. So. Absolutely. But yeah, I would like to have the red one plus five T, or especially the the Star Wars five T, because that phone looks awesome. And I'm a Star Wars fan, so yeah. Hmm. <coughs> Let's see. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes a while. It's, I mean, I mean, my channel, you know, was never meant to be any kind of tech channel, nothing else. I mean, I just made the channel back in 2011 to goof off, uh, and then the more videos I watched of tech reviewers, um, you know, a big tech reviewer that I watched all the time was Phone Dog back when Aaron Baker was part of Phone Dog, and uh -huh. I watched. I watched him all. The, I watched every single video he dropped, and uh, that kind of got me to where I wanted to start doing tech reviews. And then, it, then it went from you know messing around on YouTube to doing camera reviews, pocket camcorders, from that to cell phones and cameras, and then now mainly just strictly cell phones, and it, it, and sometimes the an accessory Bluetooth stuff like that. It just really depends. Something different for a change. Um, so that's kind of where I, that's kind of why I started my tech channel in a way um, was watching. I I really, I really I, he was one that I watched all the time back in the day. Oh yeah, man, Aaron Baker, man, that's like my that's like my idol, dude. That's like my that's a, he's a legend, dude. I remember I used to watch him when he used to be big, and then he got skinny, dude. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. So it's like one minute he was you know this, the next minute he was like, <laughs> what happened? What <laughs> what happened to you, man? Uh, but no, I have not watched the new Star Wars yet, Jason Branch. I have not seen it yet. Hmm. All right. Hey, how long we been on, bro? I think we're gonna go ahead and. Um, we've been on for. I have no idea how long we've been on. We got about thirty-two viewers, though. It's really nice of y'all. Thank you, all you thirty-two sweet, sweet, beautiful subscribers. You guys are amazed balls. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, were awesome. Coming here. Uh, type of one if you're in here. I want to see who's in here. I want to see who's in here, guys. Type of one. Let us know who's here. So that I'm late, but what do you think about the Honor 7X? The, the Honor 7X is coming to my channel very soon. I'm planning on buying it very, very soon. I'm going to order it in a couple of days, and it'll probably be here. It'll probably be my first unboxing of 2018, right, as of right now. All right, let's see. we got Jason Branch, Alex West, Jonathan Easel, Jesus, Tommy Jones Post, Cameron. Forbes, Tech Review, Justin Williams, Robbie Gaming, Rock the Cash, or Rock, Rock the Tech Guy, Eugene Church, Lucha Tech Review, Matt Johnson, Shea Kennedy, The Axon, The, the Axon? Gabriel Kuros, Curtis Bailey, The Individual, Robert Allen, Jesse Murden. Haven't seen, yeah. Some new faces that I haven't seen in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, it's all, yeah awesome all y'all being on here, man. That's, you know. Bunch of yeah. ones there, and y'all better be subscribed to CV Tech. I know I keep saying that, man, but we need to get this man to 10K, man. Yeah, he man. Let, 
less than less than a hundred away. I'm I'm at like I don't know what I'm at now, but uh, let me let, let let me go ahead and check it here and while we're on here. Let me see where I'm at. Okay. Well, his channel links in the description below, so go ahead and do that. I'm at I'm at, I'm at ninety nine sixteen, so I am I'm you know I'm I'm getting closer, y'all. I got four more days. Hopefully, I can make it by the by the new year. But if I don't, it's no big deal. But it'd be awesome to hit ten k by the new year. <laughs> Huh? Five G. Oh, they're saying that's the signal's gonna not gonna be able to penetrate. You never know, man. I, we're not gonna know what five G is gonna be like until it actually comes, man. We can speculate all day, but you know, who the heck knows yep. what they're actually gonna do and how it's actually gonna perform and whatnot. Absolutely. So hopefully, I'll be able to tell y'all. You know, working at that Target Tech, baby. So I'll be on the front lines. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, most definitely. I don't and know I don't think even if they have five G, I don't think it's gonna all flip off. At, you know, four G LTE to five G, and you know what I'm saying you're not gonna be in five G every day all day. You're just gonna have certain areas and certain uh, networks. <laughs> hey, Robbie Gaming, man, I sure appreciate that, man. I sure appreciate that. I'm live. Just so you know. That's awesome. 10k is big man yeah i appreciate it. yeah man i'm been a little bit it's been a long hard road uh forbes tech i'm telling you everybody go subscribe to cv tech yeah that would be awesome <laughs> usually he falls asleep when i'm long streaming anyway all right let's see or what limits you'll have with your plans well anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here so just it's already 12 30 a.m where i'm at Yep. Uh, CV Tech, you're going to go live, man, or anything like that? And uh, 1230, like this here, I doubt I'm going to go live tonight. I'm probably going to call it a night as well and just kind of lay back and chill a little bit. I might okay. go live tomorrow. I may go live tomorrow, though. Tomorrow night, I may go live. So stay tuned. Stay tuned on Twitter. I always announce on Twitter about uh, 30 minutes to an hour before I go live. And you can find me on Twitter at CV underscore Tech 1 and also on Instagram at CV underscore Tech 1. Um, you know, I haven't been, I haven't been really active on Instagram as of late. Um, but I'm always on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, find me on there and I always announce when I'm going to go live. So. All right, man. Well, special shout out to CB tech. Thank you for coming on here, man. And talking with everybody well, tonight. Well, one more thing. Elvis says you have a good heart as well as being sincere. Hey man, I appreciate you saying that, man. I try to be as, you know, as best I can be. Um, on my channel, and that's just the way I want to keep it. I appreciate that, right. Elvis. Right. Peace out, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get Little John to sleep. So, all right, peace out, guys. Thanks right, for good watching. Good night, everyone. Good night.